Hello, I'm Carl with frugalberry.com. Today I'm going to show you how to convert CD music to MP3 so that you can play on your MP3 player such as your iPod. Um, the first thing that we're going to do, this is the actual application here. I'm going to show you where you can go to, uh, to grab that, to download it. Uh, you want to go to audiograbber.org. That's uh, www.audiograbber.org and in here in the top menu you just click on download that'll take you to their download page and click on this here audio grabber this is freeware um, and just uh, download it and install it and make sure uh, usually with freeware there's little check boxes that, that uh, if you don't uncheck them when you're installing it you will end up with some junk software on your computer so uh, I recommend that you uncheck that stuff but anyway audio grabber right here of course you're gonna wanna get the latest version this one is uh, 1.83 special edition by the time you see this it may be uh, maybe something different I'm not going to go through all the steps of download. I'm going to assume that you all know how to do that. So I'm just going to browse away from here and go right to here. Uh, so I'm assuming that you have downloaded, installed, and opened up the application. Now the thing that I like about this, uh, it's got lots of different options here. Um, right now I've got a CD in my DVD drive. Uh, it hasn't pulled it up yet so what I'm going to do is press refresh and it pulls up the tracks that are on there now you'll notice that the artist and album aren't in here uh, track titles and all that are, are uh, generic um, but what you can do is click on this little guy here free DB and as long as you have internet access it will uh, pull up whatever uh, usually there's it'll give you either uh, one or two options here uh, doesn't usually matter a whole lot which one you pick uh, but it automatically fills in artist name album title uh, and names of the different songs that you've got on there kind of a neat feature uh, the free free database is something that has been put put together over the years uh, through lots of uh, users like yourself and now uh, it's available to everyone so uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do uh, is go into settings here and you're going to want to tell the application where you want this music to be saved okay so I'll, I'll let you figure out where you want it to go uh, click OK um, then uh, you want it to put the uh, put it into a, a separate directory in a subfolder of whatever um, whatever you're gonna have it in uh, artist directory. This will have uh, like for this one it's Bob Marley. I uh, would put it in a folder called called Bob Marley uh, album as a directory. That means it's gonna put put a directory. Uh, in that Bob Marley folder uh, for the specific album and then the uh, mp3 songs will be in that directory so it'll be directory within a directory or directory within a directory um, so we'll click OK on that and just accept the, the other default settings here uh, you can see there's lots of other things you can take a look at and just browse through but I just usually use the default okay um, so now we've got our music titles in here um, we've told it where to go you can uh, you can select mp3 here make sure this is selected if you want it for mp3 uh, I don't know what this norm is here I've never played around with that um, but mp3 is what I like and what most people like anyway so there you go uh, the next thing you want to do is just click on the grab button here and now it's going to start the process of 
taking these songs off of that CD and encoding them for MP3. And then you will find those songs in whatever folder you put them in. Uh, let me just open this guy up here. Uh, here's all the all the stuff that I've got. Um, and in the main folder, let's let's refresh this guy here. Uh, as it's going through here, uh, in the main folder, it's it's going to be putting the songs that it's it's working on at the moment. It's going to put it into the main folder that you uh, that you uh, told it to to go to, and then from from there, after it finishes encoding each of these. Uh, it will then take these songs and put them into the subfolders that we had talked about earlier. Uh, so right, like right now, uh, if we go to B and look for, uh, of course, Bob Marley is not here yet. Let's just refresh one more time. And... Of course, it's not going to show it to me to you right now. Okay, it hasn't it hasn't built that folder yet because it hasn't um, hasn't started encoding yet. Uh, I think I'm going to stop this right now because it'll take about two or three minutes for this to uh, to go through its process, and then I will start back up again and we'll go from there. So I'll see you in a couple seconds. Okay, I'm back. Um, now you can take a look and see right here the application is finishing up its encoding process. Let me go back to that folder view. You can see there's still a couple songs here that it's going through the process of encoding. Uh, we'll see if this one disappears in a couple seconds here. It should. Okay, there we go. That one went away. And now it's, now it's working on this one. And we come up and look for Bob Marley. If we open this folder, you can see there's the album and all the songs and jamming it just put in there. So let's close that or minimize that. So once it is done, this is what you end up with. You see all your songs here. Uh, and copied okay, check some. I don't know what all that garbage is. It's unimportant. All you read it, all you need to know is the copied okay. And you are done. So now we can go back to that folder if we want and click on Bob Marley. And Windows Media Player pulls it up. And that's about it. This is Carl with Frugalberry.com. Hope you check things out on Frugalberry and have a great day.